It's becoming one of the more common injuries our troops are coming home with, traumatic injuries to the groin and pelvic area. Now Johns Hopkins Hospital is going to be the first in the country to actually perform a penis transplant in hopes of giving some of these brave men a new second chance at life. According to doctors who work closely with wounded veterans, it is increasingly becoming the injury more males in combat are getting, but no one wants to talk about. Initially, after their injuries, is that when they wake up uh, from their initial surgery, the first thing they ask or the first thing they feel for is not what extremity injuries or other injury they've had, but whether their manhood has been compromised. I think that just goes to show how important this area is. Dr. W.P. Andrew Lee, chairman of the Department of Plastics and Reconstructive Surgery at Hopkins, says there are more than 1,000 wounded warriors who have come home from war with severe genital injuries. Over the past couple of years, Johns Hopkins has worked closely with the Department of Defense and thanks to strides made in transplant surgery, saw there was a way to successfully transplant a penis. From a physiologic uh, standpoint, it's uh, entirely feasible uh, that a person after transplant can regain uh, function, uh, both a urinary function as well as a sexual function. The operation will be performed by four to eight surgeons with a team of urologists, psychologists, and bioethicists consulting along the way. While they would like to perform the operation as soon as possible, finding a donor which matches both blood type and tissue is the key. Carissa Cooney, assistant professor of clinical research for plastics and reconstructive surgery, says working closely with organizations like the Living Legacy Foundation help with the process. It's not something that is included if you agree to be an organ donor uh, on your driver's license. And so we've worked also very closely with Living Legacy to make sure that we have a very careful and sensitive request. In the end, doctors say it's not just about helping the warrior get their lives back, but their families as well. So I think this will have a tremendous impact in restoring not just the physical well-being for the wounded warrior, but the outlook for the entire family. Now the hope is if this operation is successful that Johns Hopkins Hospital could perform dozens of these a year. If you know someone who could be a possible candidate, we provided some information on our website WBALTV.com. In Baltimore, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.